Council has given the nod to a renewed service agreement with Initiatives Prince George, but it wasn't approved without some tough questions. Initiatives Prince George was formed as the economic development arm for the city, its only customer. The city has just renewed IPG's service agreement for another three years, but it wasn't a simple sell for one councillor. We give well over a million dollars of taxpayer money to Initiatives Prince George. They're supposed to generate economic activity and more and more people in the community, including myself, are saying, okay, what are the benefits uh, of spending, you know, that much uh, of people's tax dollars and what are we getting back for it? How do we actually measure, um, you know, the, the jobs that are coming back to Prince George because of the work that IPG is doing? IPG officials say changes have been made to the new agreement, which do provide transparency and measures of success. I think it does. I think it, it provides comfort to the shareholder and, and uh, transparency and accountability and reporting are key tenants of any kind of service agreement and they're certainly the values that Initiatives Prince George and our board of directors uh, uh, wants to deliver to the city of Prince George so we were delighted to have those parts included in the agreement. Brian Skaken also raised the fact that communities outside of Prince George benefit from IPG's work but don't contribute to the coffers. Well, I think there's a symbiotic relationship between the largest city in a region and the region, the region itself. And our role as the capital and the leader in the region is certainly um, to market the entire region and our role within it. Uh, our focus is very much the city of Prince George. And as was said last night, you know, the success of Prince George is the success of the region and the success of the region is the success of Prince George. The new agreement will also provide a closer relationship between the CEOs of the city and IPG as well as the mayor and the chair of IPG's board. That closer eye on things satisfies Kaken a bit more. I think so. I mean, it's, it's an evolutionary thing. I've been on council 10 years now and we've really come a long way with, uh, you know, what we're doing with Prince George, but, or initiatives Prince George, but I think uh, there needs to be more done and I'll continue to push for, uh, you know, more transparency and uh, see, you know, for us to see some of the benefits with what IPG does. IPG feels the new service agreement gives the organization better stability moving forward. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.